Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Martian Toy Reviews. This week we look at something Matt bought with good boy points, Fisher Price Imagine Next Villain Robot, ages 3 to 8. And we also take a look at Marvel Universe Apocalypse. Let's get to doing some toy talking. First on previews, we have the Gears of War 3 Retro Lancer from NECA. This is an actual reproduction of the in-game machine gun. Uh, it's based off of the 3D model and it stands about three and a half feet long. This thing comes with a uh, trigger activated machine gun of sound effects. You can sit there and pretend that you're fighting all the bad guys in the world and pull the trigger and da -da 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 -da. I mean, it's pretty cool. All right, next up on our previews, we have the Cobra Ninja Viper from Sideshow Collectibles. This figure is 12 inches tall, and it's only going to be available at San Diego Comic-Con 2011. Well, it'll probably be available online after San Diego Comic-Con 2011, but um, you can get it first at Comic-Con. Hey, what's up guys? We're here at the flea market and we're looking around at all kinds of tables and stuff. Maybe find some good things, you never know. Okay, I saw that there's some figures over here at this table that look pretty good. I hope these Spurgalords over here have some decent prices. We'll find out. Let's go over here and look. Now, I see comics. Who cares about comics? Yeah. Dime a dozen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, oh, at, look who it is. Man. <laughs> look. What the hell are you guys doing here? Hey, guys. I thought you were uh, back at the studio. <laughs> well, <laughs> Trying to make a little extra money out here on the mean streets of the flea market, man. Yeah, you're selling, selling your body? Toys, collectibles, other things. Not a single thing <laughs> at the table is not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Man, bad. it's mine. I'm not selling it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta let some of these go. No, it's all mine. <laughs> um, these are all mine. It's mine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Running the kids away. <laughs> His legs kind of loose. I, I can't pay more than fifty cents for that. Low quality. Yeah. Low quality. He Look at that. Up. He just stands up perfectly. It's highway robbery here. Ten dollars. I did try a little bit though. Only like ten dollars. <laughs> Highway robbery. Yeah, he only has one hand too. That's kind of a rip off. Hey, I can't just give away the extra hand, all right? All you made is walking yeah. dead. Yeah. <laughs> it was that price, and you can get it for this price. Yeah. And it's in good shape. Look. Because we're slashing prices. Or you can download it for free online. Here's the Prego cover. Yeah. Brings back fun memories. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, it is contest time brought to you by Tommy Martian Toy Reviews and RadarToys.com. We're giving away not just one, but two Blackest Night action figures to the same person for winning. All you have to do is visit Facebook.com backslash RadarToys and submit up to three photos of your toy collection onto the wall along with a message saying what you love and enjoy about your collection the most. Now the top three entries will be selected by RadarToys.com. Us here at Atomic Martian Toy Reviews will be selecting the winner of the contest. And the winner will receive not only the Yellow Lantern Scarecrow Black as Night figure, but also the Black Lantern Flash figure. All photo entries will be submitted to the RadarToys.com Wall of Fame. There's no purchase necessary, and all entries must be submitted by June 8, 2011. Reviews. Reviews. Alrighty, first up on the review docket today, the Imaginex Villain Robot. <laughs> 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 He's flying in because I just bought him with my good boy points. He broke the good boy point bank, bitches. Yep, this is the first time we've ever <laughs> reviewed a uh, Fisher Price toy on a Tommy Martian toy review. Saving up them points. Generally, we um, 
We try to, you know, keep with the uh, adult collector. You know he had me. <laughs> <laughs> no adult collector is on this package, though. No. It says three to eight. I guess it eight. Goes. I just barely squeaked in for that one, then. I, I still think an eight-year-old would probably get beat up for having this stuff. I thought it was quite disturbing. They're like, they give kids the choice. On the back of the package, it says, imagine you're something in the world of robot police, and you could be the good guy or the bad guy, and make your choice. And they specifically put on their villain robot. So it's like, kids can go and be the bad guy. No, yeah, you know. I guess it's the same as playing cops and robbers. So you going to be cops so and you going to be the robber. You know, you know. I guess that's true. People, people, you know, most people, most people pick their pick their thing, you know, early in an early age. So this is giving the opportunity to be like, if I if, do, I want to it's be like a good guy and um, a law abiding citizen, or do I want to be a criminal for the rest of my life? It's like skipping a few chapters and going right to high school. The guidance counselor says, "What do you want to be?" I want to be a villain in a giant robot. Yeah, yeah. this tells your parents right off the bat where where things are yeah. headed, so they exactly. can plan accordingly. It does. Yeah. Kid gets this. Kid says he wants this one. Next thing you know, he gets uh, sent to one of the scared straight things in prison. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Getting talked about how he's gonna get passed it's around like for cigarettes. Little four year olds. Yep. It's like a betting process. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I mean, for a uh, you know, when I was a kid, Fisher Price didn't make stuff like this. I mean, <laughs> this is this uh, is actually pretty cool. Yeah. You know, compared to a Fisher Price. When I was a kid, yeah. Fisher Price made like a BS fake lawnmower. I was like, cool, I can be a uh, groundskeeper when I grow up. Yeah. Awesome. Well, this reminds me of, like those sweet. Exo suits from that show, Exo Squad. Yeah, yeah, Exo yeah. Squad. Yeah, it does. It does remind me of those too. Yeah. And they, they make a wide variety of stuff um, under the Imagine X stuff. I guess if you've ever checked out that aisle, like a Target or whatever. Yeah, they have, like, like Batman and Green Lantern. And, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, pirate ships. You can get like these big pirate ships, and you can get all these like cool robot stuff. So this is really cool for a young kid if you want to get your son into. Um, toys. Playing with cooler toys than, yeah. than like, I don't know. You know Playmobil, what's cool, play, Playmobil stuff, you know. Being a fireman is cool, son, but you know what's even cooler? Being a villain in a giant robot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Much cooler, much cooler. With a machine gun hand. Machine gun hand and a wrecking ball hand. Yeah. To go machine gun hand control. beats firemen in yeah. the Yeah, because guess what? The, fire, the, the fireman puts out the fire, but this guy starts the fire. Who's yeah. the bitch now? Exactly. Right. All right, let's open them up and check them out. Yeah, man. Well, he's pretty durable. Yeah. Um... No, nice. no side swivel. Um, his legs just basically go yeah, up and down. back and forth. And he can do the run. He can run. Huh? Let's have some roller blades on the bottom. There. He does. Yeah, that's right. You can just kind of scoot along. Go to the big robot roller disco. I love how you pick out the one that the batteries have died in already. Yeah, well, I didn't realize that until uh, we got You here. didn't bother testing it in the store? Oh, I had absolutely no idea that I could that it lit up until I looked at the package today. I was like, oh, damn. Oh, wow. Push it up. It pops up. Yeah, it looks like a little missile goes into the, the machine gun yeah. Sweet. part. Now, here's a little thing here. A uh, little paint, paint uh, little sack. Oh, you got to turn it on. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Look at that, it saves batteries because it has an off switch. Now, how do you open it up? Oh, there you go. We're going to pop the pilot in, the evil duo. Yeah, where's the missile? Right here. Oh. Yeah, that's one of the things you bend the arm down too far and the mace falls off. That's weak. Oh, yeah, that's weird. That's the, the most random sounds I've ever, think I've ever heard. I think it's like bend on Oh, he sits down in it. <laughs> what do you think he stands up? It looks like some of those Marvel Super very comfortable. Squad. Well, this would go great with the Marvel Superhero Squad. It would. He looks like an evil ninja. Yeah, he does look kind of weird. I'm not saying that all ninjas are evil. I like the little um, logo that they have on them, though. Like the little gear and a yeah. evil eye gear or whatever. That's on the logo, too. Jesus, Jesus this guy thing never shuts up. That's why they have the oh, off switch. There's an off switch here on the bottom. No, thank God. Um, I like it's like my girl's like toys that I. <laughs> you're constantly trying. <laughs> it's like, oh. Shut up, my little pony! God! Yeah. My little bitch is what you are! Yeah, okay. Well. Sorry, girls, your um, little keyboard doesn't make any sounds anymore. <laughs> so I'm sick and tired of hearing it. Dad, why doesn't it work? <laughs> I don't know how this arm's supposed to attach. I don't know either. Because it looks like. It looks like it's made to go at a right angle. Does that shoot? Where's it? Oh, okay. But not in anybody's eyes. I always shoot no, stuff at your brother. Huh? I am There's shooting that. I know. Every, every time you get something, you're always like, oh, let me point it. No, you do at me. You can point it like out, out in the crowd or something. I'm not pointing my eye. Out the <laughs> crowd. Yeah. Our live studio audience. This yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my fucking eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
One, two, better not sue. <laughs> I like that little bit of mobility here where this can go back and... Oh, that comes off too. Huh. You can switch them, I think. Oh, maybe this one sticks better on the other one. Oh, no, this one seems to work. Oh, oh Jesus. There you go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that one pops off too. So it's something in the socket that's defective or whatever. Yeah. Let me see it. Please. Sorry. He was yeah. hanging on there pretty cool. Right here. Yeah, put the mace on, see what it does. Maybe the mace just weighs too much. Huh? No, that yeah, one looks good. Place. It's shoes. upside down. You gotta turn around. No, that, that, that thing's upside down. Oh, that is. But it's no. still wants to fall off. Yeah, it's the socket on that right arm. Dude. Maybe I should uh, take him back to Target. Oh, God! That is... <laughs> you massive, massive right? right? You really have to apply some force to get yeah, that Yeah, turn him on and do it. Where, where's the one? <laughs> oh, the one is that. Oh, it's crotch. Oh, it's taint. Wow. Yeah. I don't know why he's doing all that with him. there. Uh, the wrecking ball, but okay. It looks cool though. This is like, this middle one too, right? Yeah. He crashed. The no, I will say this is much twist. really cool. Um, it would not. I mean, it, it's for Fisher Price, but I mean, it kind of it looks like it would fit in with like Batman, Brave and the Bold kind of action yep. figures. You could mod it. You can repaint it and probably fit in with GI Joe. Yeah, you could. You, you could actually probably mod the cockpit to make a GI Joe. Fit. Man, why does that Cobra yeah. pie look so cuddly? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could uh, take and um, cut it apart and add articulation and make it something superposable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can well, just leave it. it. Leave it like it is. You know, it just looks like really cool. I mean, it's just kind of nice to have. It's different. I was like, Matt. When Matt told me he was getting a fish, one of the Imagine X, I said, and he described it. I said, that sounds okay. I looked at it in package and I said, that looks cool. And I looked and it's all Fisher Price and it blew my mind. Yeah. yeah. So these things are pretty interesting. Because that's lighter, it seems to stay on better though because the, uh, the mace that just kind of fell off. Fall. Oh, God. And that would be so heavy for him. Yeah, that would be. Kids are going to have stout fingers when they grow up. <laughs> yeah. Or they're going to break because they try to do it with their fists. Yeah. Good God. Well, let's check out the figure inside. Can you pop that open? How'd you get open? Boop. Yeah. Pretty generic, you know. A little bit of articulation. It's like, oh, yeah. he actually has a ball joint oh, in his wow. shoulder. That's, that's, what? That's, that's surprising, yeah. Some wrist articulation. So, yeah, he has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, technically six because his feet move uh, at the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. So, he has about six. For a little tiny figure like this, it's like about three inches tall. It's, it's really good. Articulation. Yeah, it's like six points of articulation. I mean, that's obviously, really I didn't pick him up for the figure, no. the figure but it's a plus. And it it looks really cool. I actually like him. I like it really goes along really well. Yeah, with and when, he, when he's in, when he's sitting in the cockpit too, he's look all his demeanor looks all like serious, and he's kind of pissed off or whatever. Like he's he's getting ready to punch I in guess the face. It. We should yeah. definitely get some. Uh, we should get some Marvel superhero squad and have him duke it out with this guy. Uh, mm -hmm. So overall, I think this thing's pretty, it's cool. pretty cool. If you, if you're a fan of robots and mech things and stuff like that, I mean, you really can't beat it. The He's price a, is a little high. It was like 20 bucks or 22 bucks. or something like that. 20, about 22 altogether. Yeah, 21. Yeah, honestly, I I can't see myself paying more than 15 for it, but yeah. I don't know. Oh. That's disappointing. Another good thing is for any collectors out there with kids and you want something you guys can connect on. If you yeah, like exactly. Robots. A good way to bond with your kids, yeah. yeah. So overall, I think this guy's cool. I think, uh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the arm. So I think about that. Any any closing thoughts on this? Yeah, super well. Kids, use your good boy points and get the sweet robot. There you go. Next up, we have Apocalypse Marvel Universe figure. Um, this is from Series 3. This is the ninth figure in the series. And um, he's pretty freaking awesome. Apocalypse is probably one of my favorite villains of all time. You know, his goal is to end the world and destroy the universe, and he never can quite do it. No. Even though he's extremely powerful, too, you think he would, it would easily Not be able to do it. But being alive yeah. as long as he's been, you'd think he'd have figured it out by now. Yes, yeah. So. <laughs> he even, like, takes mutants and turns them into the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and he still can't create the apocalypse. No. This is a dumbass to me. Yeah. It's like, you know, now looking at it, it's like a lot of hype. His name's Apocalypse. He creates the four horsemen of the Apocalypse, of the him. Yeah. And he can't bring around the Apocalypse. It's yeah. kind of like, dude. But see, he's always still, he's still always been like really badass to me, though. Yeah, he has always been badass, yeah. 
I'm always looking at this. Every time I think Apocalypse, I think of uh, the X Men TV show. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was very he was, predominant on that show. He was always looming yeah. around the corner and beating yeah. the shit out of everybody. Well, early 90s, Apocalypse was really one of the biggest villains in the X Men yeah. universe. It was like him and Mr. Sinister. Beautiful. And then when you think of Magneto. Apocalypse, you know who else you think of? Cable. Yeah, Cable. And um, Archangel, too. Yeah, and Archangel. They go together yeah. like peanut butter and jelly. Yep. The potato chips. Even did K- Apocalypse really have a whole lot to do with Cable, or were they just around at the same time? Yeah. They, yeah, they I, can't, were, I can't remember. It's Cable so came long. back in time to... Oh, prevent Apocalypse from... Yeah. That's yeah. right. They were yeah. always fighting. That's right. And uh, Apocalypse, like, um, hibernates a lot, too, doesn't he? Like, he disappears for a while, yeah, right. and then he finally comes back, like, mm-hmm. ten years later or something like that. And yeah, he was originally born, he was like... I think they had hinted that he was the original mutant or something, possibly. Yeah, he was like from the Egyptian area. Yeah, thousands of years ago, Apocalypse, the first mutant, and there's men. Likely they will live to be the last. Yep, there it is. Yep. I think he just looks cool. You know, I I really, you know, comic book aside and character aside, he's, he looks pretty cool. So, he's been retconned about a thousand times, but. Yeah. So, (laughs) alright, let's open him up and check him out. Uh, pretty standard Marvel Universe packaging, nothing special. Like I said, this is from the, the newest wave that's in stores now, so it's the uh, part of the Shield wave. Let's come with the Shield files. I don't think they come with files. I don't know. No, they don't come with that. Oh, that is some bullshit. Aww. You know, Marvel. Oh, come on, this is, this is so poorly written. I don't even know it's like. It's kind of interesting. I thought it was interesting reading the Shield files. Because they would they would keep them up to date with the comics. Oh, I did. Okay, this needs to be cut. This is negative points. <laughs> There's a little base. Yes. I know it's it's nice to get a Marvel Universe figure that has a base. Uh, unlike the comic two packs, which don't come with them. I like that they're numbered and they have the characters' names. Yeah. Even the number really doesn't make any sense. You really need to know this is the ninth. Figure of series three, you know. <laughs> well, to me, it's like like what if you picked it up first? Like it's the first seri- figure of series three to me because I picked it up first. Yeah. All it has his name on there, like it's his water dish or something. It's like you go here, boy. Yeah, don't yeah, don't put him. What do you do? World War Hulk stand. Don't you make know? your poops and peace on Hulk stand. <laughs> do that on yours. That's why it's got your name on it. That's your potty. Your bad toy. You're going to the bin. <laughs> <laughs> the bin of bad toys. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, then you're going into Matt's angry room where he breaks things. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're selling you at the flea market. Yeah. To some, to some Lucky Spurg. Yeah, Lucky Spurg at the flea market. Oh my god, he's apocalypse! I will give you a dollar for him. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> fine, I'll, I'll give you 50 cents for the final offer. Oh wait, you're going in the wrong direction, dude. Your neck <laughs> beard. It's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> He's got those big glasses that make his eyes huge. <laughs> yeah. He still has right. to stain a last night's pizza pocket on this him. Guy's a, last week's a pizza beer. pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's not like... After a while, his mom stopped doing laundry every day. Yeah. God. Oh, it's so beast, but these freaking... um. The football shoulder pads there? Not the shoulder pads, but the cables. Oh, yeah, the cables. Yeah. Long enough, they, so yeah, they limit his... They uh, keep pulling his arm back. And his shoulder pads like pop up weird, too, if you try to move them and they hold the shoulder. All those cables look cool, but they really hinder the articulation. Yeah. And it's kind of it sucks that they're on the back, too. You're not really going to see them when you pose them, you know? You got to be careful, because if you try too hard, you'll break them. Yeah. Though those, they do seem pretty sturdy. Mm. Yeah, he looks like, <laughs> looks like he shit his pants. Oh, that's weird. He has like cross bulge in the front too. That's kind of weird. That's so poopy. <laughs> Damn, I shifted my, my load in my pants. <laughs> yeah, like his little cod piece here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can punch me anywhere, but don't hit my dick. Yeah. <laughs> this guy looks cool. I like the metallic blue paint. Yeah, yeah, the paint, the paint pattern on it. Yeah, I like the paint quality. Like I like the different shades. We got the mm. nice like metal silver for the shoulder pads and stuff, and then like a nice gray for the rest mm. of the costume. And you can still see the detail too. You can still see yeah. the, they they um it's they washed little... it. Yeah, they put the, applied some wash over the metallic paint to give us some detail. He just yeah, looks so imposing, paint. even though he does. To be honest, he doesn't really look all that huge. Like no, he doesn't look much taller than the other deluxe Marvel oh, Universe figures. Yeah. It's just the full. You know, he looks, everything else about him so big, it makes him seem, like, I'm sure when you put him next to somebody, he's really overcompensating. Hence the codpiece. 
Yeah. You guys want to see the real horseman? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like this figure. He's there's, cool. he's not much for posability though. I mean, with the with the straps there's on the back, they definitely yeah, they so hinder hard. you be able to move his arms, and um, and he does have the uh, the palsy wrist you're, or you're doomed. You know, like claw, you know, claw hand. You know, you know the other one's like I'll smash you, and then that's that's really about all you could do with him. At least the smash hand looks about right. The doom fist, like when he's not doing the. The dude, yeah. look, it looks like a palsy or something. He does, yeah, it does look weird. Or, yeah, but overall, I mean, yeah, I don't know. If you like apocalypse scene, like like early '90s X Men characters and villains or whatever, then you know, that is the one thing I'm missing on this figure. There's no giant A anywhere on him, is there? No. Oh, that's right. He used to have that, didn't he? I remember having the Toy Biz figure, the sweet the four inch. Figure, yeah, those things were awesome. Yeah, back in the design. Even though a lot of them were really skinny, like the Apocalypse one was way too skinny. <laughs> like it was, a, yeah. it was an appropriate like you know girth um, for Apocalypse. It was like what? That's when he was, was in like high anorexic. school. He had eating problems. Yeah. Then after then after he went to state college and joined the football team, and they showed him how to be a man. Yep. Yeah. And then he decided he wanted to destroy the world. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that was. Parents that didn't pay any attention when he bought that Imagine X when he wanted that Imagine X villain figure. <laughs> <laughs> after that girl, after that girl, genie uh, broke his heart. He just decided, well, then I'm gonna rule the world. I am, yeah. But then she'll have to love me. Does anyone really know what his <laughs> mutant powers are, are, like, or his main mutant power? Or is uh, it just uh, conveniently know. comes back when they're in a dry spell? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When the writers can't think of anything else, uh, they bring Throw apocalypse. Something up. about apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't written about him in like two years. Let's He's do it. An alien mutant. He looks so cool. Yeah. Dude, I like him a lot. He's good. Yeah, there's not a whole lot you can say about him. I mean, you can't really do a whole lot with him, but... Oh. He's not like the Imagine X figures, you know, they are all complex and... You yeah, know. arm falling off. His base just falls off. Yeah. All right, yeah, we got Apocalypse here. I mean, I think we pretty much hit every point on him. I like him. I think he looks awesome, yeah, but there's not a whole lot to really yeah. talk about for the most part. I mean, he just... Yeah. Even though there's a little... I will say, even though there's little straps... These little thingies, mm-hmm. um, even though they kind of hinder the articulation, they did a real good job making them. Yeah, dude. yeah, they did. Yeah, they look cool. All right, <laughs> that's Apocalypse. Bam, cool guy. All right, once again, this has been another exciting episode of Atomic Martian Tory Reviews. Um, be sure to tune in net next week. Uh, we will be. I don't know what we'll be doing next. We're probably reviewing some toys. Or the same. Maybe. I was gonna go with Pekingese Chihuahuas, but toys are cool. Yeah, we might we might do the chihuahua. Break up the monotony, you know. Yeah, a little bit. Toys. It's yeah. something different, man. Yep. And um, don't forget to check out our sponsors and affiliates. You know, like uh, RadarToys.com. Or Tenacious Toys. T-shirtbrandella.com. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, don't forget to enter our RadarToys.com uh, contest. Uh, there should only be about a week week left on that yeah. one. So um, so next week we will be doing the drawing for the winner or or selecting a winner and everything. So, but uh, make sure you enter, get those submissions in now, submit some pictures of your collection, and um, rock it out. We want to see some cool pictures. Yes, and, we do. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're judging on creativity also. Yeah, or overall coolness. And um, that's that should be that's it. it. That's it. That's, that's a wrap.